Welcome to Sonic Studio and Soundblade world-class mastering systems. Sonic mastering systems have been used to create millions of commercial release CDs and music tracks since 1992. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use plugins as desk events in Sonic Studio's Soundblade application. Desk events are really cool, and they're a feature that's unique to the Soundblade environment. Desk events provide time-based snapshot automation, where each plugin is an individual snapshot, and the parameters in that plugin are updated as Soundblade moves from desk event to desk event down the timeline. I've dragged and dropped three files into a Soundblade Edit Decision List, or EDL. To place plugins as a desk event in an EDL, I'll enable the plugin overlay by clicking on the P button here. Several horizontal rows appear as dotted lines. These lines are desk event plugin slots or lanes where plugins are inserted. Select the first song in this sequence by clicking once in its title bar. Next, hover your mouse over the first slot in the desk event overlay. You'll notice it turns blue. Hold down the control key, then click and hold your mouse button. Control clicking on a slot produces a menu listing all of the available plugins for use in this slot. I'll select Sonic Studio's Quartet Dyn PEQ as my plugin from the contextual menu, and that plugin drops in as a desk event. It shows in the desk event overlay as a green bar and opens the plugin window for adjustment. Note that the plugin is active on both channels. It's just hidden or grayed out on channel two at this time. You can show or hide desk events by clicking on the P button. You'll see it show up and hide here. Note that once a plugin is assigned to a slot, that slot is reserved for that plugin type. This makes adding quartet desk events on other songs or segments a breeze, just like this. I hover over the desk event overlay, control click on the desk event slot, and select quartet from the menu. Same thing for track three here. Now that I have these plugins in place, I'll show you how they work. Double clicking on a desk event opens that event's window for parameter adjustments. I'll add 5 dB of gain to this desk event uh, in the output limiter section of quartet here. You see I just added 5 dB there. Double clicking on the next desk event down line opens the event associated with the second song. Since this song is a little lower in overall volume than the first song, I'll add six and a half dB of gain here. I'll repeat this action with segment three and we'll add 5.5 dB of gain there. Next, I'll zoom in here between song one and two to show you the magic of how desk events work. Starting play updates the desk event and sets the plugin window to the settings for this song. Then as the playhead moves across the timeline, the desk event snapshot for the next song loads. Notice that the gain level in quartet changes as the next song begins. It's actually the same for the second song's transition into the third song. Zooming in here like we did previously, and initiate play. You'll notice that as we fade out here, we go into black and the quartet updates to the five and a half dB setting we had placed in there before. Remember that all the parameters for a plugin can be set and are saved with your project. So if you want to do a quick A-B comparison of how this plugin sounds, you can start playback and then simply option click on a desk event to hear what it does. It turns off, turns red, goes green, comes back on. Listen. So here's another neat feature. You can use multiple lines in the desk event overlay for different plugins, stacking them to create your own unique processing chain. 
I'll zoom in here, enable the plugin overlay to see what we've done. Since desk events are selection based, they can apply to all the songs in a project, or a single song, or even a segment within a song. Note that audio passing through plugin slots is applied from top to bottom, first to the top slot, then to the slot underneath it, all the way down in vertical order. One last thing, any plugin that gets placed in a desk event gets processed on output. That means whatever plugins you use in the EDL, an EQ, a compressor, a limiter, all those are printed to your CD and applied when you export a sound file. You can learn more about using desk events in the Soundblade user manual. If you have any questions about Soundblade, please visit us at www.sonicstudio.com or contact us at support at sonicstudio.com. Thank you for watching.